All righty then, folks. I am back, and I am doing something different. I'm sorry to say I'm stealing somebody's idea. I'm not 100%. I think it may be Mr. Popzilla's idea to do this 40-question challenge, but I'm going to modify it a little bit, and I want to kick off my own. So this is called the Panners 25 Questions Challenge. And folks, get ready. This one's going to be a fun one, just like that one that was just out. And I still see a lot of people participating and continuing that one on. So let's see if we can get this one rolling. All right. Number one, your favorite collection pieces. Name three. For me, out of my collection, because I'm saying collection, we all are pretty much... Uh, Gold, silver, coin collectors, currency, and things. Uh, my three things are my biggest gold nugget I have. Probably close to uh, five grams or so. A little less. Uh, I have a 10 ounce silver kookaburro. And I have uh, my turtle collection of turtle coins. So those are my three top pieces or things that I, I really enjoy having so next thing on the list number two grilled meats when you cook on your pit do you put barbecue sauce or no sauce some people like it with some people like it without all right question number three married or single if you feel this is too personal you don't have to answer it uh number four i am i Oh, let me back up. Number two, on the grilled meats, I do like sauce, but a sweet sauce. Uh, on number three, I am single, but I am a divorced single man. Uh, number four, your favorite fast food. And I don't know if there is such a thing as a favorite, but I probably hit, I don't know, maybe Jack in the Box or Sonic more frequently than anything. And the only reason I hit Sonic is because of the... Uh, Route 44s, so there's that. Uh, oh, by the way, YouTube is in no way affiliated, sponsoring, or endorsing anything I do, and I'm not endorsing anybody else. All right. Uh, number five, do you have pets? If so, what kind? What's their names? I have only one now, my little sweet pea, uh, the mother of the little lily dog that got lost a few months ago. And I love her like a child. She's almost 10 years old, and uh, I like her a lot. All right, number six. Who got you started collecting? Well, on my panning deal for me, I, I started watching uh, uh, oh, Tom Macy. He did a show. I think it was called uh, oh, man, Gold Fever. It's probably been 10 years ago. He had it quite frequently. He'd try to get his daughters out there. And that's what got me started in gold panning at home. And uh, from there it grew. And it's been probably every bit of 10 years I've been involved with playing around at home with uh, mail order uh, dirt. And on the coin collecting, probably about a year and a half or so ago, I found YouTube. And started looking for interesting things and came across uh, people like Silver Seeker and Rob Finds Treasure. And started following and learning and got very involved and realized, hey, there could be, this could be a valuable asset, you know, collecting and saving for the future. So I got into it via those guys. Uh, next thing, number seven, sunny skies or cloudy, wet, rainy days? For me, I like those cloudy, wet, rainy days. Those cody, I'm, I'm sorry, cold, wet, rainy days uh, over a sunny sky day. But not too much of that rainy stuff. Around here, it floods pretty easy. So, anyways, uh, probably the reason why I like that way because the sunny skies down here are usually scorchers. So, a little cloud cover is nice. Alright, number eight on my list. Have you ever caught a fish? And I guess part two with that would be, did you eat it or did you set it free? And uh, yes, I have caught many fish in my lifetime. Uh, seems like these days I let more go than I keep, but I have kept some and ate some. All right, number nine, highlights of life. Name three things. Um, 
probably the birth of my first child, the birth of my second child, and paying off my mortgage on my home. Probably about five years ago. That was pretty sweet. So that's pretty big highlights right there. Uh, favorite vehicle? Uh, I had an old Ford, like a 72. And, man, it run like a spank dog. I, I, I'll never forget that old red truck. But, uh, yeah, had a big motor in it. And uh, I was young and crazy, you know. All right, next thing, number 11, your favorite game or game show? Uh, for me, probably uh, Monopoly board game. I always liked that game. And game show, uh, I, I really liked the show they had on a while back called, uh, uh, oh, man, Deal or No Deal, where they had the briefcases. I, man, that was a cool show. I enjoyed that one. Never see it anymore. Alright, number 12. Meat and rice or meat and potatoes? What's your favorite? I, I like meat and rice, but I'll eat meat and potatoes too. Alright, number 13. Swimming, salt or fresh water? Now, I know this is kind of a trick question because a lot of y'all ain't around salt water, but if you are, which would you prefer? And most certainly for me, fresh water. Uh, salt water always makes you feel kind of nasty. It cleans your skin pretty good, but you feel, you know, salty and gritty. But anyways, after a shower, you feel pretty refreshed after a salt water swim. All right, next thing, 14, favorite fruit? Uh, for me, it's probably uh, bananas. I eat, I eat some bananas. Uh, I like pears, too. Uh that's probably top two right there. Number 15, country life or city life? For me, I grew up in, in the country, moved to the city for a while, and then back in the country. It's definitely country. Uh, no question. Number 16, how much time do you spend in your car per day? Well, for me, I spend about probably three hours, two, two and a half, uh, before the coronavirus thing, anyways, it was it was a, lo a long drive back and forth to work. So yeah, nowadays it's a little quicker, probably two hours a day driving. All right, next thing, and I don't enjoy that, folks. Uh, where are we at? Number seventeen. What type of music do you like? Uh, for me, I like oldies rock. Uh, not too hard, not too easy, just oldies kind of rock and roll. And so, that's what I like. Number 18, name three bucket list things you want to do. Um, one thing is, I'd like to travel to Colorado, Alaska, somewhere where there's some gold-bearing rivers and creeks and do the natural panning and experience it out in the field for what it is just uh just that in general however that may happen um probably another thing on the bucket list is uh i'd like to travel a little more i'd like to see a little more of the united states and uh the probably the third thing on the bucket list is uh uh trying to take care of some damn bills i'd like to get some of my bills paid off seems like it's a constant battle trying to stay on top you know bills but uh yeah that's a bucket list thing i want to get them things paid off soon uh so i'm working hard on that um all right name th number seven, 19 all right burger all the way or you like it uh hold something on it how you like your burger? Cheese burger? Just regular burger? Alright. Number 20. Do you live near your family? I live right next to all my, my family. My mother and my two sisters. So all my family's out here on the end of a cul-de-sac. Alright. Number 21. Mac and cheese. Deluxe or paint, plain? The deluxe, that's the squeeze packs, you know, with that uh, processed cheese or whatever. And then the plain is where you got to mix it with the butter and milk and all. So what's your choice? 
uh, I like the deluxe preferably. Alright, number 23. Or 20, uh, it looks like I missed 22. Anyway, 23, fart or two? Well, I'm an old fart, so I'm pretty sure that's fart for me. Alright, 24, mornings or evenings? Are you a morning person or evening person? I'm definitely a mornings person. Alright, and then 25, and I skipped 22, folks. I'm so sorry about that. So this is actually a 24-question deal. Uh, 25 is challenge three people to play. And I'm going to call out Justin P., AU Family, and Matt's Treasures on this one. So there you have it, fellas. Let's see what y'all can do with my list. I don't know how to post it and, and keep it going that way, but I'm hoping y'all be able to see this video well enough and clear enough to make a list or figure out this list and keep this going somehow. Maybe somebody out there in the community can help me post this list some way. Alright folks, well there it is. Thank y'all all so much for y'all's time and y'all's enjoyment. And I hope this taught y'all a little bit more about me. And I hope to hear a little more about y'all. Alright folks, if you feel like it's too personal, you don't got to answer, man. You ain't going to hurt my feelings. It's just all about having a little fun. So enjoy it. And thanks for all y'all. And hit, hit the like button if you'd like. And it make me feel a whole lot better. And we will talk to y'all tomorrow. All right, you know what we say. Later, taters.